Hi guys and welcome back to another Ibracorp video. Thanks for coming back and checking out the channel today. A pleasure to have you guys here. If you guys like what we're doing, please think about liking and subscribing to the video. Hit that notification bell. As you know, it all helps our channel and helps us bring more quality content to you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you an experimental feature for those who are using traffic or for those maybe on the fence about using traffic for an upcoming feature that you might really be interested in. This is called the Traffic Hub. And the Traffic Hub is basically a tunnel. It will allow you to, like I said, tunnel your content through traffic without exposing any ports. Think along the lines of our Argo tunnel through Cloudflare. Now, the other thing the Traffic Agent does is it gets traffic metrics and displays them in our Hub UI. I'll show you that shortly. It also secures traffic routers, provides ACME certificates to traffic, and transfers requests from a SaaS platform to traffic. And then users avoid exposing their infrastructure directly on the internet. What are the future features? You can use your own domain, more authorization techniques, and more to come. So if you guys are interested in using a traffic tunnel and you wanna use Traffic Hub to help monitor your services and not expose any sort of ports or anything like that, then this is gonna be the video for you. Without further ado, let's just get stuck into it. All right, guys, so thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys being here. One thing I will note is that we've actually added this documentation to our traffic documentation on our docs website. So as I'm following the guide on the side on my other screen, you guys can do the same. Otherwise, just enjoy the video and see what you think of this feature. Now, some important notes about the traffic tunnel or traffic hub. Free tier is limited bandwidth at one gigabyte per month. The free tier also has a limit on published services at 10 applications. Pricing for increased limits, but we don't know what the pricing is yet. All right, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's get into the install and I'll show you how it works. Now, first things first, you guys will have to create an account on the Traffic Hub site. Now, all the links are in our documentation, like I said. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're signed into the Traffic Hub and we end up on this main page. Now, what we wanna do is install our first Traffic Hub agent. As you can see, we don't have one going yet. So let's do that. Click on install. And it's gonna give you a agent list so you can pick the platform that we want to cover. So for this guide, we'll be using Docker as it creates the network for us, which is amazing. Now it's also important to note that in this, you have your token and your token is really, really sensitive. So make sure that you keep it secure. Of course, after this video is done, I'll be destroying this one. And if I have to create a new one, I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, in your case, make sure your token is always kept secure. Now what we're gonna do is use the docker run commands for this one, and that will just boot up an instance for us now and allow us to use it. Uh, alternatively, you do also have your docker compose as well, like I said earlier. So you can just grab docker compose if you wanted to use that as your option. Now, as you can see, we've got traffic in here, so that's gonna be in addition to our compost file we already have. But yeah, for the purpose of this video, let's just go with docker run and we'll use these commands as we go. So the next command, which is again in our dashboard for Traffic Hub is this one. It can't find it, that's fine. So it's gonna go ahead and grab it for us. And there we go. So now it's started up an instance of traffic and it's gone the Traffic Hub network that we created. And now we're going to launch the agent. So go ahead and paste that in and we'll hit enter. Now, as you can see, it's got our token in there. That's why in our docs, we're recommending you copy it from the Traffic Hub because it already has your token in there. So you don't need to copy the one we've put as an example, um, just copy it as it is. So the hub agent is now running. So with that running, we come back to our traffic hub, we copy this token here and we click configuration done. And there you go. It's picked up our connection, which is fantastic. So now we give it a name. So go ahead and just give it a name. Now at this time, it only allows lowercase and dashes and numbers, but not at the start. So Osiris traffic one, there we go, done. Now go to the agent details and it takes us to the agent details. This is what we're connecting to right now, which is fantastic. Now, as you can see, it's already picking up the services that we have published um, and are running through our Docker Compose. So it's already picked those up automatically for us and we can see what the services are and what ports they're using, if any. If I click load more, for example, we've got all of these here that can be used. Now, I use the Cloudflare tunnel at this time, so these aren't ports that are actually forwarded or published anywhere. They're just literally just exposed through the compose. 
To test this out and see how it works, we're going to run another Docker run command. And this one's just going to fire up a basic web server Docker container. So back in our terminal here, I'm going to paste this Docker run command and it's gonna spin up a hello world container for us. There you go, that's done. Now, if you come back to your dashboard or traffic hub, we should see that pop up pretty much straight away. And there it is there, it's running on port 80 and it's just auto, auto generated a name for the container because we haven't given it one. And in this case, it's just called it Admiring Einstein. If you didn't know Docker did that, it's actually pretty cool. It just auto generates a name for you. So Admiring Einstein, that's the container we literally just started up. It wasn't there before. So say we want to now publish our app. So let's click on it. And we can choose to publish the service or we can publish the services directly from our agent. So then when we start up the agent, it will publish them for us. So why don't we just click on that and the service port. So this is where the requests will be sent to your service. That's fine, 80 is fine. The service network, we've got traffic hub. We're putting it on the same network. The access control policy, we don't have one set at the moment. We're just gonna leave that as is and we'll click save and publish. You can see it's now deploying, so we'll just wait for that. And here you go, now you have the juicy part which is it's generated a URL for us to access it remotely. So let's click the link and see what happens. And there you go. So now it's directing us directly to the app as if it was reverse proxy. However, we're going through the tunnel. So we have this secure link that we're going through as well. Like magic, without opening any ports, the application is available publicly. So why don't we close this and go back to our hub real quick. So back in the hub, we'll click got it. We'll get out of this screen. And now what you may notice is that we'll start getting statistics collected for us on this URL. So after about 10 minutes or so, you'll start seeing a lot more content coming up here under performance. So we can come back to that and I'll show you what it looks like once we've got some more data. In the meantime, why don't we talk about security? Obviously security is really important to us. We wanna make sure we're on top of it. So in terms of security, what we wanna do is set up access control policies. So let's edit this service, we'll click edit. And under access control policy, you'll see that it currently has none and we have none to choose from, so we'll create one. In the name, just give it any name that you want. And uh, the users, so let's say myself. And there you go, I've just created a user. Now we can add as many as we want. We also have additional configuration under here as well. For today's video, we're not gonna worry about that just yet, but it will come in handy in one of our future videos. So once you're happy with that, just click save. And sure enough, we have now set up a user. So what we'll do is save and publish. And that's now updated for us. So let's go ahead and click on the link. And straight away, the first thing you'll see is it prompts us for credentials. Sorry about the white screen. Obviously it's halfway through a page. So let's go and set that. We'll type in the user and password we created. And sure enough, it sends us through to the app and we are authenticated. So let's say you want to remove a service. While you're on the service, go ahead and click edit. Scroll down and you'll see danger zone here. Now, if you want to delete it, you have to copy this phrase and paste it in here and click on unpublish. Now, immediately it is unpublished and it cannot be accessed anymore. Now, how easy was that guys? I couldn't, I couldn't make it easier if I tried. Honestly, I think traffic's knocked it out of the park with this feature, it's great. And I think a lot of people will be interested. Now, even easier is, like I said, it's picked up stuff that's running on my server by itself. The agent has picked that up and detected them. I haven't had to set up anything. And you can see that they're over here. Just like we did with the container that we manually run, as soon as we installed it, it just started showing up in our panel. Now in the top right, we also have a notification section here and that's giving us any sort of notifications we need to know about. So Traffic Hub has deployed your workspace domain certificate, for example and uh, automatically request TLS certificates for us as well. It's done that. We can then mark them as red. We have our user account settings here. And then we also have our agents because you can have multiple agents. This gives you one central place to manage them as well. Once you click on the agent, that's where you get this full list of stuff that's running where the agent can detect it. Now, two things that are really important to remember about the traffic hub is that it's still in beta. So there's a lot of things changing. If you have any feedback, make sure you send it back to the traffic team so that they can squish any bugs. And that's the only way it's gonna keep improving. So feel free to go back and give them that feedback. So guys, what do you think of Traffic Hub? I think it's a pretty cool feature. 
And I really want to thank Traffic, Traffic Labs, Bosan, Hawks, and anyone else involved to help us get this uh, video out there for you. We really appreciate it. What do you guys think of Traffic Hub? Let us know in the comments below or on Discord. We'd love to see you there. You can join anytime and be part of the conversation. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next Ibra Corp video.